I was always somebody that was into finding the answers to things. And that's where the archive became a perfect place for me because my job is to find answers for research questions. There's all this cultural history and value locked in this collection. And what we try to do in Access is try to help people unlock that. In a collection this large, you have material on basically every major topic relevant to the history of the 20th century. We have over 300,000 holdings and the collection spans from the Donna Cinema to the present. So we have a lot of everything. When we talk about film preservation, in the archival world, we're talking about saving film to 35 millimeter safety film. Digital formats are a constant moving target, and we really don't know how long the current digital formats that are in vogue are going to be viable. But we do know that if we take this off the shelf in 60 years and hold it up to the light, that with safety film, that image is still going to be there. Some historians estimate that over um, 80 to 90 percent of all silent films just lost to time. So we're very lucky that we have this large silent film collection that's actually survived and the silent animation um, area of the collection that's especially interesting. Bob's Electric Theater is one of the first puppet stop motion films ever made. In the silent era, before color film stocks were even invented, some films would be hand colored or hand stenciled and it was a way to add another layer of vibrancy and energy to film. Long, long before Who Framed Roger Rabbit, a pool plunge gives you an example of combining live action with animation. And of course, live action was much cheaper to shoot than animation. So the idea of combining the two in some ways was kind of a cost-saving measure. But the novelty of combining limited animation and live action could produce a very entertaining and surreal result. The pioneering stop-motion animation in The Lost World by Willis O'Brien, who did the special effects on King Kong a few years later, really Enchanted audiences when it first came out, and the realism was something that they had never seen before. It reportedly startled viewers when it was so exciting it made the front page of the New York Times. The Lost World was not only a great film, but the predecessor of today's Hollywood special effects film blockbusters. A major focus of my lab is understanding the mechanical properties of biological materials, and that ranges from animal cells to plant cells, and we're particularly interested in understanding the cell nucleus, which is where m most of the genomic material, most of the DNA of the cells is contained. So there are many cells that appear in this way, such as cells in our blood, white blood cells. 